Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics and in this video I'd like to discuss how the Tories' reckless policies over the years have now culminated in threats to adequate nutrition even to babies. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So we've been used for ooh, a very long time now to see in some, some very small number of goods in supermarkets with security tags. It's mostly alcohol, really. And, and in terms of foodstuffs, since Brexit and the rapidly diminished standard of living, we've, we've marvelled at first how butter seemed to follow. Tubs of Lurpak, you know, this huge rise in the cost of staple foods. All of a sudden, supermarkets felt the need to put security tags on, on some things. And the implication is that people no longer able to afford to buy them were having to resort to theft in order to put food on their table. And we're not talking about petty thefts here. Otherwise, we'd have seen these security tags much longer ago. It's a result of the cruel and quite unnecessary rise in the cost of living. And, and no, people don't get to blame global events when other countries in that globe are not facing the same problems. Yes, price rises are occurring everywhere. But it's the UK where ordinary people are unable to meet those rising costs. Governments in other countries have helped people to, to, to deal with those. You know, and now we're seeing a, another escalation. In actual fact, this isn't the first instance of it. Uh, it's an article reporting that a co-op, the type of supermarket in the UK, has had to, one of the smaller ones, has had to take precautions against the theft of baby formula. And they've, they've said it's not a national policy, it's just where there was a particular local issue. But, you know, you now have to take an empty carton from the shelf, take it to the till, get a full one. You know, like we used to have to do with videos back in the day. This is relatively new. Like I say, it has been done in other shops before, but only very recently. It's I, I don't think I'd seen or heard of this at all before a few years ago. And just as with butter, it's not a result of petty theft because it's sudden. It's the result of people being forced into theft because so many people have gone from what Theresa May once described as just about managing to not managing at all. I remember years ago when Theresa May was Prime Minister, she warned of the dangers of just of people just about managing. We need to help the people just about managing. Well, the opposite happened. They were plunged into poverty. And we've seen increases in reports over the past few years of parents having to go without food themselves in order that their children are fed. You know, sometimes this hasn't been possible. We've had children fainting from hunger in schools. It's a particular problem on Monday mornings after a weekend without the school meals. But this latest site of, of baby formula having anti-theft measures used on them, that is a, as a real sign that on a significant scale, parents are now not able to feed their babies, in certain areas of the country at least. And I'd like people to consider how this works. So the shop notices uh, an increase in thefts on particular products, in this case, baby formula. This is caused, as I say, by parents unable to be able to afford it. Not petty theft. Can't emphasise that enough because this is new. The healthy start vouchers, which parents can get to use for things like baby formula, that's not increased in value to match the increases in the prices we are seeing. So parents are left without the ability to pay for enough food to feed their children. It's a choice between theft and hunger. So the shop takes action to prevent the theft as you would, so the thefts are stopped, okay. But what's the consequence of that? Babies are then not getting that nutrition because they can't have it now. The parent already couldn't afford it, now they can't steal it, so it's just not happening. Now I'm not attacking the shops here, just to be clear, this is the fault of a government who can allow parents to have such a low standard of living that they cannot afford to feed their own infant child. The article talks of parents having to stretch out limited resources, you know, increasing the time between feeds or just feeding them something that's completely unsuitable like porridge, it said. So the baby isn't getting the nutrition they need. So they fail to develop properly as they grow. Even if it doesn't uh, actually threaten their life, they grow up weaker. They're likely to suffer from unnecessary health problems later in life. Re not only reducing their productivity when of working age, but increasing the level of health care they need as well. So this policy of allowing even babies to go hungry, it's not just inhumane, but it's foolish even from a cold-hearted practical point of view. Like even the, the sternest of technocrats who has no empathy whatsoever, no human feeling, but let's say they at least have an eye on the economic health of the country, you know, they're, they're like their spreadsheets, they're all about the figures, the bottom line, 
they would still see the need to invest in the health of everyone who is or will be entering the workforce. You may expect them to be a little bit more dismissive of the elderly, but not the young. So what we have here is a situation which the Tories have allowed to develop because they are, they are kept up to date with the impacts of their policy. It's not like they don't know this is happening. And this situation means that even babies are now unable to be properly fed. Even by parents who care enough to risk stealing to feed them. And how can, how can even Tories justify this? Like, you talk about people in poverty, we know what it's like. Their limited intelligence goes, oh, you should just get a better job. That's what they've actually said, just get a better job. Oh, right, yeah, I didn't think of that. You talk about children, they say, well, that's why we've been opening up the minds again. Give them some job opportunities, you know. What have they got to say about babies not being fed? How are they going to claim that the baby's not working hard enough or they don't have the right mental attitude? I mean, it's morally wrong because the fifth wealthiest country in the world cannot claim that it's unable to feed itself. But it's also wrong, as I said, from a practical point of view. A healthy economy needs a healthy workforce to power it. You know, I think back to their policy of starving children during the summer of 2020. Remember that? When Boris Johnson forced Tory MPs to justify it to their constituents before he eventually U-turned. And I thought at the time, how does it make sense on any level, with any political belief, to want to do that? There are some things that I think the Conservatives do which are truly appalling. But I also understand that from a certain political point of view, you don't think it's appalling. But this is not an issue of political left or right. It's a, it's a policy that can only exist when your government is run by someone who will never know hunger or indeed having to go without any of life's essentials or even comforts. You look at this latest, albeit unintentional in this case, policy of now starving babies and think it can still be only the same thing, isn't it? It's not just that this would not happen under a Labour government. I don't think this would happen under a Conservative government that wasn't led by a cabinet of posh, privately educated toffs. They could fix this in an instant. There are vouchers to help people pay for baby formula. Some of the other issues, you know, they're actually going to have to increase uh, the, the money that people get, whether from jobs or benefits or whatever. But for this, there are vouchers. The cost of the formula has increased. So they could just increase the value of the vouchers. They can't say, oh, the parents will only spend it on blackjack or hookers or drugs or whatever it is they think people in poverty buy with their crumbs. It's a voucher used to purchase specific products and the voucher no longer works. Make it work. Could be fixed at the stroke of a pen. But they're not doing because they don't care and they don't understand. But there we are. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.